Hey, I'm JT with Silver Street Marketing, and today we are going to be talking about how to find more cash buyers to add to your list so that you can start getting higher wholesale fees or moving your properties a lot quicker. Now, um, today with this video, we are offering a free upload of the actual template of the ads that we are creating. So you're going to get everything from the copy to the ad um, to the actual ad structure that you can just plug into Facebook, and it will go ahead and upload that into your Facebook um, ads manager so that you can start customizing a few small things and you'll be ready to start advertising to find more cash buyers. And the reason why this is really important is you can see that as you have more buyers on your list and you have more buyers interested in the off-market deals that you are finding, the easier it's going to be to move properties, but you're also going to be able to move properties uh, for higher wholesale fees or quicker um, if you're flipping those and moving them to potential uh, investors that are renting them out. So that's why this is important. If we can move these properties faster and for more money, you're going to be able to scale your business um, a lot easier. And guess what? It isn't, it's very easy to find cash buyers on Facebook. That's why I love doing it for my clients. So I want to show you guys how to do it for yourself. Now, there's a couple assets that we need set up before we start creating all of these ads. One of them is going to be a landing page that we can send these to. I prefer Carrot. So if you guys don't have a landing page that you can um, create or uh, customize on your own, I would say go over to carrot.com and get an account. They have awesome SEO structured websites, but they also give you the uh, options to be able to customize uh, your website and customize landing pages. So this is a landing page that I created from Carrot really quickly. I've got a little mobile home in the background. Um, we're advertising uh, VIP access to off-market off properties. Obviously, if you don't work in the mobile home space, and let's say you work for a traditional single family um, uh, homes, that's uh, you know, what you normally find, then I would put a home of uh, like a deal that you normally find back there uh, as the background image so that uh, people can kind of have an expectation of what type of properties that you're really marketing. Um, if you market a whole different, a lot of different properties, I would pick one that seems to be kind of the average one that you get so that it's easy to offload those properties once um, you put them onto your uh, cash buyer list. So, uh, first things first, we got to create this landing page. Now you can feel free to use this exact same structure. Um, would love that you guys do that because I've seen this work. And so that way it makes sure that when we're driving traffic to your landing page, you know, it's going to convert. Um, I like to put a little headline in there, uh, get VIP access to off market properties so that everybody knows exactly what they're signing up for. And then I give them a little bit of motivation, right? Stop paying top dollar for properties you find on the MLS. Let us do the hard work in finding off-market properties and get notified every time a new property comes available, right? So that way they know it's nice and easy. They're going to get the notification. They're going to get the email or the text that says, hey, here's an off-market property. And they don't have to do any of the work of going out and actually finding it because that is what a lot of investors are doing. They're hiring agents or they're going out <clears throat> and looking themselves trying to find off-market properties uh, or trying to find um, you know, available properties that have off-market pricing um, and they're not able to do so. So that's where we come in and we're selling that value. Um, we're selling that list for their phone number and their email address. So we have to be able to communicate enough value there. But now that you have everything ready for your landing page, let's jump into the actual Facebook ad structure and walk you through creating those ads. All right. So we're going to jump here and we are going to start the creation process. Now, I like to use a conversions campaign and this is the campaign that you guys will get sent to you um, as well. We're going to go ahead and name this and we're going to do Silver Street Cash Buyer Campaign. Ad set, we're going to do Cash Buyers. And right here uh, for the ad, we're going to do CB1 dynamic. All right. So let's jump in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click continue. We have to click the special ad category. Make sure whatever ads you are ever running, you have the special ad category selected. So we're going to go ahead and click uh, housing. Make sure our ad sets are all updated. Um, that way we adhere by the rules. <clears throat> we're going to turn off campaign budget for this specific ad because um, we're only going to have one ad set in there. So that doesn't matter. We're going to jump in here. We're going to select our pixel. And we're going to select our lead event. Now, 
<clears throat> you do need to make sure that on your landing pages, um, you do have your pixel set up. And then on the thank you page, you want to make sure that you have the event that you're optimizing for. So we're optimizing for the lead event. Um, obviously, you'd be able to change this inside your own account. We're going to send this as a blank um, a slot inside that template that you'll be able to upload. And so it'll be nice and easy for you. Um, you'll be able to select the event that you have on your website. Uh, but basically, this just tells Facebook when somebody actually fills out the form so it knows that it's on the right path to success. We're going to select dynamic creative. This gives us the opportunity to be able to market with multiple pieces of media and text so we can see which one's working best. And that way we're not wasting money um, without doing any testing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do $10. Um, I think $10 is a great place to start $300 a month on uh, finding cash buyers. You really get quite a few cash buyers very quickly into your campaign uh, by spending about this amount. All right, and um, we're going to select the area. Uh, just for this, I'm going to select Utah because that's where I'm at. Uh, obviously, you can select uh, where you're doing it. Um, we're going to do kind of our main um, areas. So I'm going to select the counties first. And then I'm going to put pinpoints around my counties. Oh, I don't want Washington County. Let's get Utah County in here. Utah County, Utah. Okay. And then we're going to start dropping our pins. And this is just around the areas that we want to be. Here we are. Okay. Now I like to select the county and the pins. <clears throat> because I feel like it gets a, a better range of people that actually live in the area. Um, and again, we have to change this over to people living in this location. Uh, you can do it as people like that are in this location. It's up to you. Uh, but I like living in the location just because I know exactly where I'm kind of targeting. So that, that helps me a little bit. <clears throat> All right, let's jump in. And we are going to go to the placements. I, I actually like using manual placements because I feel like it fits my demographic better than just doing automatic. I know there's a couple places where I'm probably at people who are cash buyers are cultivating and other places that they're, they're not. So we're going to go ahead and um, go in here. We're going to select our feeds. I'm going to take it away from the video feed just because I feel like a lot of times it's too disruptive. Um, so I'm going to take away the stories. Um, I'm going to take away in stream. I'm going to leave an article. I really like an article because I, I feel like that's very much a cash buyer uh, area where people will, will kind of congregate as cash buyers. And I'm going to take away rewarded videos and in-stream videos in the, in the network, but I'm going to leave the native banner and, and uh, inner side, uh, inner studio. So this is basically saying that we're going to advertise off, mar off of Facebook. So different websites that have deals with Facebook where they can buy advertising space, we're going we're gonna to market over there as well because there may be people that are interested in our product over there. Um, and before we leave this page, we're just going to make sure we have some detailed targeting because 1.4 million people is quite a few, few people to advertise to and they're probably not all cash buyers. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to type in uh, some, some possible uh, interest. So we're going to do uh, real estate investing and I am going to do landlords. Oftentimes these type of people are going to be the ones that are going to be interested in buying properties off market for cash. So landlord and real estate investing uh, seem to be some good, good ones. If you were going to do like a real a realtor outreach program where you send these off market property deals over to realtors and these realtors bring you buyers, um, that's also an option where you could target these by like interest level on like a realtor or a broker. Um, those are things that you could add to this if you were doing that specifically for them. Now, I would change your landing page. I would change your um, messaging just to make sure that it fits who you're targeting. But for this one, uh, what we're doing, everything's going to be all set up and uh, ready to go. All right, so we've got this all ready. Let's go into the actual ad. Now we've got our page that pulls up. And if you don't have a Facebook page, you can watch videos that I've done prior on how to create a Facebook page, but you will need one. Um, let's go down and let's start selecting our images. I'm going to go ahead and upload a few images. And these are actually going to be the images that will come uh, with this campaign as well. So here are two. 
So this is actually going to come in the ad template that we, we send you if you comment on the video below. Um, that way you have a few that you're able to use yourself. Uh, you can always use an image of a property as well. I've seen that, that work in the past. Um, what we're going to do is use a couple graphic images here uh, just because I like these and I feel like they portray a lot more uh, information in one go. Um, and we'll go ahead and show you these once we have the rest of the ad uh, created. We do want to make sure we optimize creative for each person. Basically, that's what we're saying is we're, we're going to um, take the images from above and we're going to test those and whatever one that's going to work best per person that views the ad is the one that's going to show. And I'm going to add one more image in here. I usually like to use about three at a time. Um, I'm going to just going to go ahead and let's do um, this one. So we're going to do a blank image that doesn't have um, any graphic to it. And just to kind of see if that works a little bit better. Uh, and another graphic kind of image that you could use yourself would be a, uh, a picture of a home. Uh, so if you have a home that you want to market as kind of like, this is the typical uh, property that I'm going to send out to this list, that's always a good option to put in here as well. Uh, the way that you add options, obviously, is you just select images. So when you get these uh, three images inside your template, you can add more to this or you can take them out just by clicking the X button. All right, now we're gonna add our text. Now I've already got our text written. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab our first one. All right, so I'm gonna pull this up. And I've got, are you looking to buy off market potential flip homes or rentals? Sign up for our buyers list and get VIP access to all of our exclusive off market deals here in Utah. Now, um, you'll be able to customize this to however you'd like. Changing these are, are very simple. Um, I like to have the location in there just because I want people to know where I'm sending these. Some people like to buy uh, properties in different areas, but um, this usually is the best way for, for me to personally do it. We're going to actually add another option in here, and then we'll kind of explain the bit.ly links a little bit more. So we're going to grab this and paste that in. Uh, so another option that we have is we find homes all across Utah that are perfect investment properties instead of you having to waste uh, more time or more money paying top dollar for homes on the MLS, get instant access to our cash buyer VIP list and be notified every time we find a, a new off market deal that might just be the perfect fit for your next investment. So get VIP access. Now I like to put this link in there because oftentimes when people are clicking through this and looking at um, the actual um, ad, they'll click into the copy. And because Facebook is oftentimes on the mobile side, they have to click into the copy to read all of the copy. So once they go in there, they lose access to be able to just click on the ad right away. So I like to include a link in there that goes directly to our landing page. You can use a bit.ly link. The reason why I do is because I like to use UTM parameters. Now UTM parameters are basically just links that tell um, your landing page where your traffic is coming from. So it's easier to track every lead back to the actual ad that created it. You don't have to do that. Um, you could just put in your website, silverstreetmarketing.com, for example, right here at this little link, and it will send it straight over to that, that landing page. So you can do that, or you can create a custom bit.ly link that's just smaller and a little bit easier to, to move into that copy. All right, let's add our headlines to this. We've got a couple headlines already uh, in here. So we've got get VIP access to off-market real estate investments. We're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. Add another option and stop paying top dollar for real estate investments. Get VIP access to off market properties. Okay. All right, we're going to grab our URL. Uh, like I said before, I use a, um, a UTM parameter. So basically, I go to a Google uh, URL creator uh, that creates UTM parameters. And you can see here, I just put in the first part of my uh, website address. So it's uh, www.silverstreetmarketing.com. And then the UTM parameter creator basically creates um, all the parameters I want to track. So I'm telling you it's coming from Facebook, as you can see, and it's coming from the cash buyers that we're advertising to. And it tells the, the ad that um, we're advertising. So that's what I have in here. And it will automatically come up with a display link uh, example that says silverstreetmarketing.com. So you can kind of see this preview over here on the right. We're going to dive into that a little bit more. Um, once we have this fully created, we're going to change this call to action over to a sign up because I'm trying to prompt them to sign up for this VIP list. So I feel like it, it just matches a little bit better. 
So we're going to go ahead and we will check out these previews. So I'm going to actually pull up multiple variations. That way you guys can see what each copy looks like. Um, so as you can tell right here, this has all the different feeds that we're marketing on. We've got everything from like the marketplace. Um, we got the Instagram feed. We've got Facebook feeds, instant articles, um, the audience network, like being off on other people's websites, all of this all together. Um, so what you can actually do is we'll, we can kind of see how each of these media looks a little bit different, how we have different text that's involved in it. Um, we have different headlines that we can use. And you can see how all that kind of looks um, on this page. So a lot of really cool things. Um, and Facebook basically chooses the one that's going to be working best for each placement and per each person. So this is really going to be super easy for you guys because really you can just upload it and uh, let it go and keep an eye on it, obviously. Make sure there's not anything that's coming back negative or, or you're having any weird comments and whatnot. But um, as time goes on, you'll be able to see this work better and better and you can add more media to it. You can take away the stuff that's not working and that's going to be able to help this uh, overall perform better. But remember today, if you comment your email below, um, I will send you this actual template where you can just upload this to Facebook, right? You just go ahead, upload it to Facebook, and you're going to be able to actually access this and customize it to the way that you want to. Um, so if you want that, make sure you comment um, on the video below and uh, we can go from there. But I hope that this helps you guys find more cash buyers. That way that you're able to um, increase the amount of people on your list and be able to move properties faster and for more money. All right, guys, I will see you guys on the next video and good luck with uh, creating all of your Facebook ads.